Hi there, my name is NethyM, and today we're playing Factorio. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. When we last left off, I was, uh, we did a few things. Uh, we, quote unquote, finished our little refueling stops. So now, now, the train will mostly wait. Well, I don't know about mostly, but it'll wait for a while, and then a tra uh, one of the stations will open up. The train will come and refuel it with coal, and then it'll go back to waiting, essentially. Um, as the, while, and at any time the, the little inserters are doing their thing, that means the train is, dis or the station is disabled, basically, and it cannot, isn't, it isn't available to be refueled. I know there are probably infinite ways of doing that better, but that's where I'm going with right now, and uh, we'll change it as needed. So, what is next? I feel pretty good about those. And what was the reasoning for that? There was a reason I started doing that, like, uh, like crazy and, and allowing it to take over several of my episodes. And the reason was one of these trains, I think. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, which one was it? There was one of these trains that was taken, I think it's the train that takes, what? What do you mean? What are you talking about? None of a train. What? Hold on. What? <laughs> Did I change something? What happened to the ammo drop-off train? Did I cannibalize it? Did I turn that into my coal drop-off train instead? I don't know why I would have done that. Who are you? You're happy. You're happy, I think. Why don't I have a what? I don't remember what happened. <laughs> I can't remember if it was something I did intentionally or very unintentionally. Oh man, I hate this. And I don't know how I'm gonna fix it, honestly, because I guess I guess maybe just more. Oh, and what's your deal? Oh, sure. So you have coal refuel in your thing, but you're probably now going to one of these coal refuels and not this one, which this one sort of has a cheeky little uh, sixth uh, car, sixth train thing um, built in. <laughs> but the other ones don't. So maybe I should do that. Build in a little thing. I think there's an option, right? Um. Yes. So I'm gonna say seven instead, just for so I can play around with that a little bit more. Um. So. What? Why didn't it do it? Am I wrong about that? I thought that's how you did it. Train visualization length. Oh, and building near rails. Okay. Can I... Can I change it when I'm hovering over a train station? I guess not. Okay, anyway, doesn't matter. So, uh, let's head over and just sort of see about doing that. So this is the sixth car. So let's grab our car and look into adding a little sixth sixth car refueling thing here. And if that's even possible with the amount of space that I've given myself. I mean, that train's gonna stop there one way or the other, so I don't see why it wouldn't be. It's gonna be a little little a little tight here. Okay, that's not I don't know when you actually are implying that you're gonna show me that many cars. I'm gonna put a stop there just so that, nope, even that doesn't show me. So, okay. So, oh, it gets broken by the signal, eh? Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. 
I, I can't actually even quite visualize in my head where that train is going to go, I guess, until it gets here. So, where are you? Where is that big old train? Is it this guy? Um. Oh, it's probably going to stop here, actually. Oh, no. Iron gear pickup. So, yeah, it's definitely going to stop here. So, I'm going to go ahead and send it on its way real quick. I'm going to force it to get into position because I think, you know, it's going to be around here somewhere. But <laughs> so let's go ahead and start running some uh, some cable here. Eh, I don't love it. All right, so that's for so it's probably gonna be like here. I'm gonna just sort of assume there, but we'll see. And then let's get a little bit of power going. Oh boy, how annoying! Woo! And then where are you going? Cool, perfect. All right. So he's gonna get, come on down this way and nailed it. There you go. All right, love it. So um, it's not ideal, and I might redesign the the stop so that it is long enough to deal with this. So let me let me well. <laughs> Do I want to keep doing this? Do I want to just do it, figure out how to do it right? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, I think it's fine for now. I wanted, I was thinking of adding more, more little coal pit stops, but I think for now we're okay. I might just go down real quick and get the other one taken care of. But really, what we need to be doing ASAP, you start to get some of some more factories built right um starting to get starting to get troublesome so that's gonna be there ish so we're just gonna do that I'm just gonna do the same thing for here um although here we probably actually have the space potentially uh one two so like right I hear how to do it. <laughs> uh, did I like make this one? Is this one shorter than the other one? Who knows? All right. Anyway, I don't. I don't know if any six car trains come this far down, but and maybe it's that's in the wrong spot anyway. But oh, wait, my car. So, all right, what are we gonna do here? Let's actually start working on some uh, some factories so we can start getting some of some of my stuff. Uh, auto crafted instead of all the madness. Um, so I think undergroundies and splitters are probably my big my big concern. And since they more or less take the same items, except that splitters use green circuits, I think I think that's perfectly legit. So, what do we got here in terms of green circuits going to car three? Iron plates traditionally go into car one. And then belts go into car one as well. Belts are going to be a little bit harder to ask to go into belt two or to car two. Plates, I probably could do that. Probably just add another one of these here. Problem is, I don't know who's going to be upset about it. Mm -hmm. So, belts, belts in car one, plates in car two, green circuits in car three. Seems fine. 
Seems fine. I don't know. Uh, I guess what I want to do is look at all of these. Look at all these trains. And... Like... So, is this... Is are there are there cars filtered? I suppose like if I have a little thing in here that's gonna try to put iron plates in car two, who's gonna get mad about that? Certainly this guy. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's filtered. But <laughs> all right, let's go and uh, babysit iron plate drop off or pick up here for a second and see where am I? Not where I thought I was. That's one problem with the uh, <laughs> using. <laughs> the blueprints for these uh, stations to make them all more or less look the same is uh, I kind of often don't know where I am. So I think some sort of landmarking might be uh, really helpful in the future to try to figure out, to try to sort of get my bearings and, and, and know where I am. All right, so you, I assume these are filtered. They are. Cool, cool. Nope, not tab, dude. Not tab. I mean, thank you for fixing that train <laughs> that I undoubtedly ran into, but it's the wrong video game. Nope, still no. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, I'm just gonna do it. I will I will trust the process. I will just assume that, uh, <laughs> that, there, that the trains, all the trains coming in here have their second car filtered. <laughs> if they have a second car at all. So, because they probably do, right? I think I've basically been doing that the whole time. Uh, ooh, I am not prepared. But you know what I need is iron plates. <laughs> nope, that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was iron chests. Uh, six. And then we'll put that there. And then just do the same thing here just because... It's small. Oh boy. Uh, there's no happy way to do this, I don't think. How can I make this happen? Uh, I'd have to do it for both, wouldn't I? All right, this is a nightmare. Hmm. I wonder if there's an easier way to set this up so that it can be a little bit more condensed, but you don't know. So what I'm gonna do is this <laughs> awful. <laughs> Uh, and this is gonna handle all of them? No, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it another game. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh what is the world coming to? How can we do it like this? We can't do it like this. We're doing it like this. Okay, anyway, um, so, oh boy, it's every time with you, buddy. Every time with you. Because uh, I think I need all of them, right? Or I would need both if these have the same name. There's going to be plenty of times where that the train I need to come in here is not going to come in here. Uh, what happened? So let's see. Everything everything happened. All, all the things are wrong and terrible and bad. And I'm designing this like an idiot. But it is what it is. Uh, so you and you. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Cool. So, oh gosh, see, that's what I was worried about. That is what I was worried about. Uh, uh, don't. <laughs> that's a, that's a wild way to, 
Um, what does this what does this train do? Investigate this train. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, what are you? So where are you going? You going to copper plates pickup? And then what? You gonna you're gonna pick up copper plates? In what? Clearly your second second wagon. I assume. So, where's that guy? Go hunt down this train. Actually, no, we don't need to hunt down this train. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Um, where'd you go? Is this you? Nope. Uh, is it you? Nope. Is it you? Yes. So you, uh, come back here. Eh. Real quick, real quick, just uh, come on over here. It's stuck, but that's okay. So, let's go meet up with it. <laughs> this is dumb, but... Also exciting. Train rendezvous! Not you. Alright. New, new rule. Everything gets, everything gets filtered. Every, <laughs> every wagon. Even if I don't think it's gonna need it. Probably should just be every single car, every single train. Okay. Nope. All right. So here, here it comes, and I'm basically just going to say, uh, manual, and everybody's going to be upset. Nope. How do I? Nope. Do I do right? Oh, I do. Oh, whoa. Okay. Cool. We'll just park this here. That way, if anyone needs to go into the train refuel stop, it won't be able to, but... <laughs> um, and then... I'm just gonna do this. Because I think... I think this is all it needs to pick up, right? Just iron and copper, and then it takes it to... Uh weapon drop off, which is iron and copper. If it was anything else, this would break too. So, uh, I think it's just, that's what it's gotta be. So, back at it, buddy. Go pick up some copper plates. See ya. All right. Exceptional. Oh, this is fully broken. Oh, this is so broken. How did I leave it this broken? Well, don't answer that. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start here with the whole, I'm doing it differently now thing. And what's that gonna mean for everybody? I think it's gonna mean... Whoa. Oh. Oh, sure. Okay. Interesting. That is one... That is one problem with that. I had not thought of, but I'm glad we got it so fast. <laughs> Is that trains coming from below here, up up this way, would, with this situation, we'll have to go all the way around, come back in order to take this turn here. Before, it could just do a loop, and then it would cross over right here. So, does that happen... I mean, it's gonna happen everywhere. Um, but let's let's assume. Well, I don't know. Actually, it's a bit of a bummer. Could we do it just by taking this out? Leave this one. And then, I mean, I guess at that point, there's no reason not to just have the, no reason not just to have that, I suppose. It could even be a little farther in. We could just have it be like a middle, a part of the middle here. So it would just sort of be, you 
here. And then maybe like that. Something like that. It could just sort of be in the middle and then has a signal? Oh jeez. <laughs> oh it has a signal. I thought it's <laughs> I thought it had a stop. I was like, what? I didn't put a stop there. Um but yeah, this could just go like this and then like that. Yeah, maybe. It's not as it's not as silly as the little circular baseball thing I had in there in the beginning. But that would at least give trains because I don't think I'd be putting anything in the middle of the tracks in a way that where if they if they're coming from this direction and they loop around, they'll be on the inside track. Oh no, but they could just make it in to here. And then if they're coming from above, they can choose whichever one they want. Yeah. No, never mind. I actually don't think I need this. Because I don't think there's any situation in which they would be forced to the inside. Or forced to the outside and need to go into the inside track. Right? Because if you come from up, you can just take this track to get to the inside. If if you come from this way, you can loop around and then you're on the inside track. And then that's true for every other direction too. So the only circumstance where you'd be on the outside track is never because, or theoretically would be is if you were coming from above. But, but because it has this little crossbar, if you're on the outside track here, you can just drop into the middle. So you'll never be on this outside line forcibly unless unless that was the intention and then if that's the intention there's no reason to jump back after this point right so this is your moment to get onto the inside track this is your moment to get onto the outside track so yeah i think that works i think we don't need these but i think we will have some of these Like that. Is that symmetrical? Doesn't look symmetrical, but trains look a little different going up and down versus left and right, I think. So now we just have to signal this. So I'll just cut that into little bits. We will certainly cut this. Um. Yeah, I mean, that's all right. I'll leave that there for now. Uh, I might need to do some more signaling. But anyway, now that train the train, the little refuel train can now do its loop and then just come down right here instead of having to go all the way around. So yeah, this, this might be the sort of the final track design, <laughs> quote unquote, final version two underscore zero zero five. So <laughs> because I still have issues like this, this is the next thing that I want to really try to deal with. Um, because you know, I can solve, I can maybe solve that problem like that, you know, for, uh, for some instances where we can have a train that can get a little closer to, to its uh, previous trains. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I still, I still just don't, I'm not giving my trains enough space to, to hang out, to stop. Um, I was never particularly formulaic about the amount of space that I was giving all my trains to hang out. And so that's something I'm gonna have to consider uh, in the future. So it could still, I suppose, uh, we could still iterate again. This is probably also not good to have these several branches here. Probably should cut that in half. Um. So yeah. So maybe some some more thought into that. Maybe larger. Um. Maybe larger stretches in between the intersections might help so that at least if, I don't know, I think I just need to maybe just reevaluate how I'm doing these stations and the fact that they are in line, having them in line like this, I think might just cause more problems than it's worth. And it might, it might make sense to make something where 
you know, we have like the main line and then the stations sort of come out like this, you know, and I could have, I could theoretically have several, several platforms uh, for each station, you know, maybe not exactly like that, but you know what I mean? So like that way, um, but I, I still want like a holding area that can hold two or three trains before they even get to this. So maybe this would be the main train. Uh, you know, maybe it would do this and then, and then we come up onto this bit here and then we could have theoretically like several of these. That wasn't far enough, obviously, but uh, something like this, you know, but not quite to scale, but like we could have a little bit, the inch entryway into the, into the station itself would be like a little buffer like that, you know? And so these would be longer so that a train could essentially come into the station park and then until the actual platform is free and then move into the platform, you know, and then so we would have these sort of like, you know, uh, intermediary areas um, in between the actual stops themselves. And I guess if that's true, then these could just theoretically be in line. So then maybe, maybe the stop still does do, you know, one of these, well, uh, still has a, still sort of does, does that. You know, but now at least there's a little waiting area. So, which I think would require a little bit more space in between the intersections. So I don't know if the design of the intersection really needs to change. I don't know if the design of like the four lanes thing needs to change. It may just be that the the actual stop needs to change to incorporate something like this, which would make them much much taller. You know, they would they would come out this way a lot more because you'd have this little this little buffer area here, and then they would then you would get to the actual stop, which would now be like up here or something like that. Um, and then you know, and then obviously that Matt would all make everything longer, which means that this is no longer an appropriate distance. So uh, you know, that kind of thing might be. I might I might want to try to play around with that in in some sort of redesign of the stations because I think the stations need a little bit of work um I think they also don't super do everything I need them to do in some circumstances I want this to be easier instead of instead of what I did here <laughs> um so coming up with some way of getting the resources either making them wider farther apart or making them not parallel in the same sort of way. I don't know if there's any way I can make them parallel in another way or if there's another sort of way of thinking about that. But like, you know, maybe they just wouldn't be stacked up like this. So I wouldn't have to have these weird little things. Um, you know, some of these things might change as we get drones and stuff. But uh, for now, with when I'm still have belts and how I have to sort of route all those belts I think I think it makes just sort of I, I, I want to make it in such a way where we don't have to do this somehow I'm not entirely sure how to do that and what the solution there is um, but um, and it might be maybe the best thing is only one platform per stop and instead of trying to stack up the platforms like this, just make more stops, you know, um, so that we don't we don't have to do that. The everything can come into the platform more like this, where there's plenty of space. I can route the you know this isn't even particularly well routed, but you know what I mean. I can route them sort of more directly into their spots, you know, where I just have you know something a little bit more like this, you know. And just have some balancers or have whatever it is that I need um, dropping the stuff off into the 
into the platforms or taking them away. I probably want to make this bit of space a little bit bigger um, or just have those be different stops altogether. That's another potential thought is just don't have the input and the output stop be the same stop, you know, be this in the same sort of physical location. So for something, you know, let's say if we have a hypothetical square here with some factories, I would have a stop and that would drop everything off. And then maybe over here, there would be a stop and that would pick everything up, you know, but there would only be one platform. It would have the little, the little buffer. It would have a platform. It would have all the stuff, you know, the routing and everything. And then that would probably be, probably mean I would be using way more space and maybe have a lot more dead space, but it might be worth it just sort of for, uh, that kind of cleanliness so that the trains aren't sort of a kind of falling all over themselves trying to, you know, you know, we have, we do have get minor traffic jams here and there as a train is trying to go to the pickup and to the drop off. You know, we get, we have, a, it takes a lot more signaling having these sort of like double, double off ramps here. So if it was all just sort of more self-contained, that might make more sense. Um, because of the depth that they're going to have to be, I might be able to be able to put more stuff in this space, the space in between the main thoroughfare and the station, because that would be now be fairly large. Uh, so this might become a spot for something, either, you know, uh, some sort of refueling stop or maybe another place to sort of stash trains or maybe another little thing that crafts something, who knows, or defense, I don't know. But yeah, theoretically, and then it might mean that the actual usable, <laughs> the actual usable factory space becomes much smaller and then maybe each one will just have to be dedicated to one thing. I don't know. Just throwing some, throwing some ideas out there and just sort of trying to think of what I might be doing in the future. Cause I mean, you know, I certainly don't mind just continuing on exactly like this and then, you know, uh, having everything be a disaster later, but you know, now might not be a bad time to start thinking about alternative ways of doing these uh, tracks so that I can, you know, that going forward, we could start to do it more quote unquote correctly. So yeah, maybe, uh, maybe coming up here, we'll try to redesign the, the station, come up with something slightly different in terms of how to get trains in, how to keep them happy while they can't, while they cannot go into the station how to keep the the traffic moving in the the main area and then uh yeah and just sort of what that's going to mean for the design of our intersections the design for all of this noodly stuff and cuz i don't love it i don't love having these you know and this is better but it's still i don't i still don't love it i'd like i like to try to have as much parallel lines as possible without little bumps <laughs> if i could avoid little bumps like this i'll be a little happier so we'll see anyway i think it's gonna do it for this episode <laughs> again just kind of a you know planning stuff out episode this is working pretty well but again i probably redesign this at some point here in the near future uh and try to figure out a way to not just not have it be using chests and inserters and stuff because I, I i get it i wanted to do it because then it was fun and i'm glad i was successful in doing what i had planned to do but i know there's better ways to do that and i will attempt to do those in the near future and then that will become more of a you know we'll, we'll blueprint that up so that that's a little bit easier to build in the future anyway thank you so much for joining me i can't wait to see you again and i hope you have an incredible day okay bye Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.